Hello Virgo, welcome to Blunt Sagittarius. My name is Robin, and today we're going to do a general reading, what, which is called what you need to know, what you need to hear from the universe, what they got to say to you, what will benefit you on your journey. It is a general reading, so it may or may not resonate Virgo, but if you're guided here, I sure hope there's a message for you and it does resonate. Nobody likes to waste their time. All right. Huh. Let's get one more card there for your advice. We'll get into it. We'll do the tarot. We'll get some oracle. And at the end, we'll get a yes or no question. It's more that I wanted, but that's what we're going with. Okay. So to start, someone has deceived you. So you are in empress mode right now, Virgo. So you're abundant, you're in charge, you're in control, you're trying to figure out what's happening because there has been some betrayal and you're trying to investigate and figure out why someone would betray you and why, like, you know, why would they do this to you? You're the empress. Um, I'm going to gather it's something that you don't feel that you deserved and it's something that really hurt you. So let's find out what advice the cards think will benefit you in this choice because I do see you're at a crossroads. We have justice, the knight of wands, the two of swords, the ten of cups, the Nine of Wands, the World, and the Queen of Pentacles. So you are looking for justice, Virgo. You want what's fair and what's just because what they did to you was wrong. And you're at a crossroads here. So you're not sure exactly how to move forward to get your happy ending, but you're ready to move forward. You don't want to do you don't want to deal with that anymore. You don't want to make the same mistake. You want to learn from that and move forward with something that makes you passionate and happy. Um, but you're still at this crossroads. You're not quite sure how to move forward. You're stuck. You're stuck in this betrayal and in this pain. But look at this. So you're still guarded, but this new cycle is about to be upon you as soon as you drop your guard. Sometimes you just have to realize it had nothing to do with you. It was their shit. They were envious. They were whatever they were of you, Virgo. Um, sometimes it's just not personal. Some people are just not nice people, you know? So as soon as you drop your guard and you release this wound and you understand that you didn't do anything to deserve it. And sometimes there's just, it's not why did this happen to me? It's what can I learn from this? So once you change that perspective and drop your guard, this brand new cycle, the world is a closing of an old and opening of a new and it's beside the queen of pentacles. So a brand, look at how abundant this queen is. She's looking down at her pentacles. She's focused on her abundance, her life, creating her happiness. She's very nurturing, very motherly, very well respected. And successful in every element of life so that new cycle is on the way once you change your perspective so instead of asking why did this happen to me ask the question what can I learn from this so that you can move forward and get your happiness okay so let's get some advice so what did the surrender card what does Virgo need to surrender to in order to move past this betrayal what does Virgo need to surrender to in order to move past this betrayal Show a card, please, something that will help them along their journey. What do they have to surrender to? Show us the card or cards. What words would benefit them? Whoa. Okay, those ones. Surrender the drama. No matter how emotionally charged the situation, remain calm and don't contribute to the drama. Staying centered will help resolve the issue more quickly. Surrender to wonder and awe. Open to the magic of every moment and sense the awe and wonder in all life. This attitude will keep you connected to the ecstasy of flow. And surrender the idea that you can fix someone. It's time for a relationship to shift. It doesn't work to try and fix someone. Each person must be accountable for his or her own healing. So let's get our soul's journey cards out here and see what message they have for you. What's the lesson here for Virgo? Show us the card, please. What's the lesson Virgo's learning right now? Discipline, okay? I can accomplish what I set my mind to. Everything else is just a distraction, baby. It's just a distraction from the universe to see if you really want what you want. All right. So these are my favorite cards, the Energy Oracle. What message do you guys have for Virgo? What message do you have for them? What would benefit them to hear today, please? What message do we have for Virgo? Show us the card, please. That thing you need to see. There it is, and it went flying. So hold on a second, Virgo. Let me go grab it. Okay. Well, I got this the other day, too. Angel of Love in Reverse. Actually, this came up in my personal reading that I did. So you guys got the same Oracle card that I did. Okay, so card number 49. So with this, I always read it from the book. I believe that's how the message is meant to be received. So in the reversed position, let me just put those little neaters so you can see your cards. Sorry. Sometimes I don't put the neatest spreads, but it's really not how they look. 
<laughs> so this beautiful, oh, sorry. In reverse, this angel of love indicates a possible disconnect with matters of the heart. While this sometimes signifies a divorce or separation, it could also imply emotional rift where two people are, stay connected on a superficial basis, yet at a deeper level, they've already gone their own ways. In this position, the angel can also refer to an old separation if the longing remains alive in one partner's heart. If you find yourself unable to let go, this loving angel is telling you it's time to release any toxic or unrequited attachment you may be holding on to. The universe is waiting for you to free your heart and open your life to the fully present and honoring love that you so rightly deserve. So look in the mirror and see the angel of love with you. Know that you are worthy of this tender emotion from yourself and from others. Okay, so Virgo, let's get advice from my cards. I got two. Say what you have to say. You will regret it if you don't. And your hard work is paying off, so keep going. That new cycle is upon you, which is exciting. You just got to release the past. Okay. So let's get our yes or no question, Virgo. So yes or no. Yes or no. What is the message for Virgo, please? Or sorry, the answer. The answer is yes. So Virgo, that's what I have for you today for your advice reading. I really hope that resonates. And I want to say thank you so much for watching. Until next time.